Greetings. I thought I would uh, try another little tutorial today. Um, this is this is something that actually has come up a little bit in debate, and I think with all the new users, might have been buried as far as what it's useful for. Um, Anarchy mode is something that I'm running my server in. Many people do. And there's a, there's a couple things that get overlooked. What I wanted to focus on was something very sim simple and didn't really need a, a tutorial, at least I didn't think it did, and it's called uh, toning. Now, I'm sitting here in a train. Now, if you go into the old display, you see, you know, you see red dots. Um, basically, at the moment, nobody's on. Uh, middle of the day at the moment. Uh, but there's three trains that are highlighted. So this is the classic display. If you're in, most people who are in anarchy will, of course, will have access to this. They'll be able to set whatever signals they want. Um, regardless of that, what I suggest people do, and this is just a suggestion, um, but if you're definitely in a session, I would take advantage of this, and that is basically toning. But I also would suggest that you also use this program here, which is the external dispatcher application. Now, as you can see, if you don't have the external, now you might say, why do I need the external dispatcher application? I'm not interested in dispatching. I just want to run trains. Okay, I get that. But if you're going to run anarchy sessions, this is a huge, huge tool for a few reasons. Number one, a lot of people will come into a session and they'll think it's not busy because there's no trains on the main line when in fact they're in the yards. This will tell you. If you click up here, you uh, launch it and right now it's green because it's all set up. You should, I'm not going to tell you how to use the external dispatcher, but you click on trains right on this DTMF. Now that's another important tab I'll get to in a minute. But you click on trains. And it shows you a list of uh, trains that are out there. There's there's a fourth one that says on CTC no. Um, doesn't have much useful information right now. They're all gray. That means they're not being used. Um, DTMF, that's clear at the moment. I'll get to that in a minute. But here's the, um, the advantages of such a system. I'm going to minimize that. F4. F4 brings it between full screen and part screen or whatever and then I just click that to minimize. What I'm going to do, in case you haven't learned how to acquire a train yet, I'm pretty sure you have, but you just uh, click it and, it and it's acquired. That means it's under your control. So you've taken control of a train. Well, how does that show up on the external dispatcher? It's now red and uh, you see it went gray there for a second. Basically what it was doing was it was uh, waiting a few seconds to make sure everything was cool. It's red because it stopped. If a train's moving, it's going to be green and then there'll be other colors. So it's red. You now know just by going into the external dispatcher without having to worry about any of those dots that somebody is in control of that train. So it has the potential of moving or, or whatever, or it's green or it's moving and it's lined up, blah, blah, blah. So I'll get out of that for a second. So you've taken control of the train. Now, control L, control F, L. This is the toning part. Control F, L gets in. You're sitting here at a red signal and uh, you've taken control of a train. Now, there may or may not be a dispatcher working, even if it's in anarchy. Some people like to dispatch even during anarchy, and this server is probably a lot more quiet than some of the more popular ones, which is fine by me. But uh, what you do, hold the right mouse button down, and you can scroll around the tab just like as you would flick the switches. You don't even need to use the breakers on this right away, but you you should have your train set up, running, and everything first. Click on this DTMF button. It turns red. You might not see it in the video. And it doesn't really matter what the number is. Uh, emergencies, you should use 911, and there's a reason for it. But uh, for a normal call, let's just say star 5, 4. Now, 
what that does, it does two things. Number one, if somebody was dispatching up on the top of the, your, your chat, it would actually say that you're in the queue. So you know somebody's dispatching when they're getting messages that are saying, hey, I'm in the queue. And that's a, the best way to do it. Um, F12, get back out. So you've, and the reason why, I don't even know why I got it back out, I didn't have to. Um, let me just minimize out of that. But now you see why toning is so powerful. This is under the, the latest external dispatcher version. It used to just show the, uh, the DTMF. Let me maximize it there. That train you can see is that Bissell. And because it's yellow, it means that's the particular train that is toning right now. So you go into here, and it tells you which engine, uh, if there's a symbol, that train doesn't have a symbol, um, the player name. Folks, uh, what you got to do is you got to put your name. Uh, uh, ideally, I like putting initials in. It's shorter, it's sweeter. It's, you know, you don't need to put in full names, blah, blah, blah. Just use your initials. But, um, you know, that's up to the, uh, the host as far as whether or not or what they want. But you go in, you hit F1, and you change your name. I'll sh I might have time to show you how to do that. Uh, but the focus of this, let me right mouse click, you clear that. Okay, so it's, so it's answered. Then, I won't get into the specifics as how you run this program that's already in the documentation. Yes, you have to read the documentation for this particular application, but if you click on it, left mouse click, right mouse here, and let's say you want to go up to cable crossover, which is probably a good idea if you're going to go on double track to stop down here. Oops, got to set direction first. Double right mouse click. You want to drop the signals to red, let's say, and you want to be westbound. So now you got this arrow pointing in the direction. Right mouse click. And right mouse click on here, all these white dots come up. Then you left mouse click, and it sets all your signals to green. And you might say, okay, well, I could do that in the regular dispatcher. And sometimes it's easier for me to just hit F3 and go in and do the regular dispatcher for some basic dispatching. What this does is it actually shows intention in anarchy mode. It's just something that you can use to prevent unnecessary communications if people are using this program because if you go into click sightings and anybody has access to this, you can see he's at Bissell, but you can also see that he is uh, going to be the main track at Mojave main track at Sanborn. If he was actually going into a particular siding, it would also show him uh, with his ID here. And if somebody is routing it for you or actually um, dispatching for you or setting up a meet, it would actually show the two trades side by side. So let's get back out to this. I'll just show you one other feature of this that's kind of cool. You get a lot of people that are um, chatting back and forth. I told you about 911. Now see that there's the green signal. But uh, say you say you break, break a coupler or whatever. You want to let the dispatcher or everybody know um, basically as soon as possible. So if you, it's basically um, your train has gone into emergency. Anytime your train has to go into emergency braking or you go past a red signal or anything like that. No, not so much if a det detector goes off, uh, you don't require this. Uh, detector goes off, okay, but uh, I don't think it's required. But if you're breaking a coupler or you have a PCS error or something like that that causes your train to go into emergency, you got DTMF on, just go star 911 or any combination thereof. What that does and I can't demonstrate it because I only have so many trains here. Now it's flashing with a red border and the DTMF is actually red. If there is more than one person in this queue, it would put that train up to the top. So you could have three people uh, speaking to a dispatcher in a busy situation. 
it would actually throw that that one train up to the top and you know that basically says hey I need your attention now blah 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 you, all the rest of you can wait this is more important don't use it uh, I wouldn't use it unless it was an actual emergency it's not too not too bright uh, to say the least now, what else was I going to show you because that's pretty much it I got a few minutes to, to kill here so um, but uh, oh yeah that's what I was going to say let's get out of that for a second there's a setting here if you're going to be the dispatcher and I would recommend you use this program to do it what what you want to do uh, gotta remember how to do this here shift F1 send radio message when a train is added to the DTMF list is by default off if you're going to be the dispatcher you're the one who wants to click that if you're running the application because then what happens when you're actually in and this once again is why the toning is is so valuable if you hit star 54 now and it won't do it because I am oh it did I spoke too soon it took a few seconds you might see up in the chat here uh, a new message has come. It says, uh, with my initials from dispatcher, BNSF 7244 is in queue at position 1. It tells you which position you are in the queue, which is basically the lineup. And that right there, I recommend anybody who's actually wanting to dispatch in anarchy mode, who's agreed upon, not somebody who just decides, hey, I'm going to be the dispatcher, the hell with all the rest of you. But if it's agreed upon, somebody becomes a dispatcher then you tone a message anytime you go into anarchy you should check see what's going on then take a train that's available and once again you find out the trains that are available by looking around if it's gray it means it's not being run by anybody that means it's 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 in anarchy as long as the rules allow you to it's fine just go in take the train Get on the radio, hit star 54. If you don't get an answer, you know nobody's dispatching. So then you're basically okay to do it yourself. And uh, that's pretty much it. A little longer than necessary, a little drawn out, but I get 15 minutes to yap, so what the hell. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. But if you're not dispatching, make sure you click this off, because otherwise you get a bunch of messages coming up that multiple multiple messages going on from everybody who's using this program you don't want to use that so anyways that's all for now